There are some second date updates that we do where I'm really pulling for the person on the phone. And today is one of those occasions because I want the guy to get a second date today. His name is Michael. Mm -hmm. And judging from his email, all of the odds were stacked against him when he went out on his date. And that's probably why he's not getting a call back. Michael, what's up, man? How are you? Hey, how's it going? Not bad. Way better than you on your date. (laughs) Yeah, it was not exactly the best week. Okay, well, hey, (laughs) Jubal just painted you as the underdog, and everybody roots for the underdog, so things are already looking up. Why don't you tell us about the girl that you want to call? What's her name? Her name is Alicia. Alicia? Alicia, and where'd you meet Alicia? Uh, We met on, you know, one of the dating apps that, you know, a lot of people go on with Tinder. We met on Tinder. Okay, that's fine. There's no shame in that, Michael. I don't know. A lot of people get really kind of judgy when I say Tinder or meet on like a, another dating app. I mean, I like to embrace the technology sometimes, you know? Hey, don't yeah. worry about the haters in life, Michael. You do Embrace you. that technology, Mike. <laughs> yes. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do you right. like so much about Alicia? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, not only is she beautiful... She's a, uh, I don't know, like I, I, something, it was more, I'm, like I said, I, I'm still embracing the app, but I mean, it takes me a while to even want to get to know somebody, you know? Okay. So I just started like, wow, she's really cute. I'm going to swipe right. Okay. So you did that and you guys obviously went out because you're doing a second date update right now. Why do you think she's not calling you back? Well, before we even get to that, I got to lay some contacts out so you know exactly why the date went bad, okay? Okay. So I'm sitting kind of in a coffee shop one day trying to get some work done, just like everybody else in, you know, a coffee shop or drinking coffee. All right. (laughs) And went to the bathroom, kind of left a little bit of my stuff out. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. This is a weird setup to something that happened before the date. Well, you know, life's weird, right? <laughs> so it is. Did it is, flat? Michael. Did so why flat? was it so weird that you went to the bathroom in this coffee shop? No, it wasn't weird that I went to the bathroom in the coffee shop. That was, that was pretty normal. Oh, good. It was weird when I came back and I found my stuff was gone. Whoa. Oh, no. Someone stole your stuff? Yes, they took my wallet, <gasps> my personal phone. Oh. I'm you know, like, I'm using my backup phone, my old phone right now. I mean, that sucks. But what does that have to do with the date? Well, can't exactly pay for too much of a date if you don't have money or cars or anything, can you? Oh. Okay. So, did you make okay. her pay then? Luckily, I took her to a spot that I had a gift card to. Okay. And everything's going great. We're talking. We're chatting. Next thing you know, end of the night comes. Time to pay the bill. Waitress took a gift card. Mm -hmm. And she came back and said that I don't have enough money to cover the whole bill on there. Like, okay, well, can you put it on this card? And I put it on a backup card, which I didn't tell her this. Um, It was my mom's credit card that I had to use. Um, okay. But it's all understandable. I mean, you got all of your stuff stolen. It's not like if you explain this story, she's going to be like, oh, screw you. Well, they still wouldn't take it because it wasn't my name on it. Oh, oh no. so you were trying to use your mom's credit card and it got returned to you because of that? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, they said that my mom needed to be there and pay with it, and she definitely wasn't there. <laughs> kind of be embarrassing if it was a date and a mom date at the same time, you know? <laughs> Yeah, so wait, I think that's they, the only way your date could have been worse, actually, is if your mom was there. Yeah, did, it definitely. It, I mean, it did kind of get worse, though. What? It got worse than them telling you you needed your mom to actually pay the bill? Yeah, well, she had to cover the rest of the bill. What? And then I tried calling her Uber, and of oh, no. course my card was canceled. Oh. But she oh. had to order her own Uber. Oh, dude. So she had to pay for everything, basically. Yeah. What was her reaction to all of this, though? She was pissed. She was? She, like, she, I could tell in her face that she was kind of pissed. Oh. I feel like you shouldn't even want to go out with her again, Michael. You don't want a girl who's going to be upset about something like that. You're trying. You're putting the effort in. Yeah, but I also didn't tell her that all my stuff got stolen. I don't understand why you wouldn't tell her that. Well, I thought if she found out, she'd think I'm just like a dumbass 
or something. <laughs> like, oh, well, you're dumb enough to put your stuff there. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know? Oh, yeah. So she Why? just thinks that you're just like a cheapskate trying to pay with gift cards that don't have enough money and then your mom's credit card. and then Yeah, I mean, the only thing that's missing out of that is like, oh, yeah, I'm still living in my parents' basement. So Wait, are you, though? Are you still living in your no, parents' basement? No, no, no. That was a joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, Michael, I didn't know where our boundaries were here. It's not the basement. He's in the room next door. Okay. Right, Michael? No, no. I, I got my own place like a year ago. So Nice. I'm, I'm good. All right. Well, we'll play a song, come back, and then call her and get your second date update, okay? Okay. I don't need your mom's approval, do I? <laughs> no. Okay, we'll do it right after this. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, second date update. I really want Michael, who is the guy on the phone for the second date update today, I really want him to get a second date. You do? Oh, yep. If you just tuned in, Michael is on the phone. He wants to call Alicia. They went and hung out at a bar, and it turns out that Michael looked like he was broke mm. because he had a <laughs> gift card, and he paid with his gift card but didn't have enough money on it. So they asked for a credit card. He had his mom's credit card, and they wouldn't let him use that because it wasn't his. <laughs> And then when he tried to get her an Uber after the date, it got turned down because his card was declined. Oh, man. And the reason all that happened is because he had his stuff stolen, but Michael, for some reason, didn't feel like telling Alicia that. So she just thinks he's just really bad with money. Are you wishing that you would have brought cash with you during your date night? Yeah, definitely. But, you know, again, had everything stolen, so. <laughs> Couldn't get any okay, cash. Okay, that's a good point. <laughs> Could have borrowed maybe from your mom. Yeah. <laughs> and I really want you to get a second date. The reason is because if she agrees to go on a date with you, we'll send you guys out with some gift cards. And I want to give you nothing but gift cards that are under the oh, limit. Oh, under? <laughs> yeah. so Just to up, do it man. again to you, Michael. $5 one. Yeah. All right, man. I'm going to dial her phone number right now. Oh, oh, by the way, do you want me to tell her that the reason you couldn't pay for anything was because your stuff was stolen? Or do you want to tell her that? Uh, I guess. Or maybe I should tell her. Okay. How, how as long your... as she gets the yeah. information. I mean, I got nothing else to lose at this point, you know? So you want to tell her? I guess I should, yeah. Okay. okay. I won't That's bring a yes. It up. I'll let you bring it up then. <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. I'm dialing the phone number. Hello? Hi, is this Alicia? Yes, this is she. Who's this? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. How are you? What was that last name? Brook and Jubal in the Morning? <laughs> That'd be a weird last name. It's a very long last mm-hmm. name. Uh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jubal, and I host a radio show called Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Brooke is here. Hi, Alicia. Jose is also here. Hey, what's up? Okay, so there's, there's three of us on the phone right now, and it is a radio show, like I said. Okay. Hi. The reason I'm calling you is because one of our listeners actually emailed us saying that he'd like us to call you. Um, that's odd. It is kind of odd. Everyone agrees with that. It's a segment we do on our show. It's called the Second Date Update. So you recently went out with a dude named Michael. Oh, great. (laughs) Great. That wasn't like a, like, great. Awesome. Yeah. And Michael sent us an email because he's tried to reach out to you, but you're not getting back to him. And he wants to know what he did wrong. He's broke. Okay, that, that was blunt. That's, we knew that though. Like, You're upset that he couldn't pay for the date. Um, hold on. How do you know he didn't pay for the date? Oh, because we talked to him. He told us about your date, oh. and he said that he had a gift card that wouldn't work, and then he tried to use his mom's credit card that wouldn't work, and then he couldn't call you an I'm Uber. Sorry, say that again. He uses what? He used his mom's credit card. Oh, that was his mom's credit card. Oh, <laughs> oh you didn't know I that? Didn't know th- I didn't know you didn't know that. Sorry. Oh, oops. I knew that he used a credit card. I just assumed that it just declined. So. Oh. Yeah, no. I didn't mean to put him out there like that, oh, but yeah, no. it's his mom's credit card. Now you're laughing harder at the situation. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought he was broke, but I didn't know he was borrowing your mom's credit card kind of broke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was that just a big turnoff to you? Completely. I've dated tons of guys that have a lot of money, all right? Mm -hmm. I've also been on the flip side and dated guys that have not that much money at all. Aren't they the worst? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Terrible, aren't they, Alicia? (laughs) What's wrong with dating poor guys? Let me say this. Right now, for me, in my life, I I cannot date anyone that is living check to check. I mean, how can you go on a date and not have any money to pay for it? Well, what if you had a good reason for that, though? A good reason to have zero money? That's not the type of guy I need in my life and I want to go to date with. 
But don't you think it's like, I don't know, we're modern era. Women should make their own money. I do make my own money. But you're not going to ask me on a date. I show up. And you have all this fun, and we keep doing more and more, and you can't pay for anything at all? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's like, I make my own money, but I would also like to be with someone else who makes their own money. Then we can both have our own money together. (laughs) That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's what I need. But I don't blame him for not having any money. I just don't want to date a guy like that right now. Okay, well, but what if you... Wait, 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 Alicia, Alicia, I do have money. (laughs) Wait, what was that? Oh, that's Michael, (laughs) who couldn't wait until we called him onto the phone, Michael. Hi. (laughs) Uh, Oh, my God, Michael. The Michael I went on a date with? Yeah, he was actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. (laughs) What? (laughs) Yes, yes, Alicia, I'm sorry. I did call these people, but I, I just, I had... That night, I just had a bad situation. I, I I was trying to contact you to tell you, but you weren't picking up at all. You weren't doing anything. You just ignored me the whole time. Michael, you were trying to pay with your mom's credit card. Mm. <laughs> well, you didn't know that it was my mom's credit card. You're just finding out today. So it, that still doesn't matter. I couldn't even get an Uber home. Well, let me explain at least, all right? I just, Michael, I, there's nothing to explain. You took me yes, out of the day and didn't have any money. The reason why I didn't have any money is because all my stuff got stolen right before the date. I was at a coffee shop, left my stuff out, somebody stole it. And I, I turn around for like two seconds, and the next thing you know, everything's gone. I don't believe him. What? You know, you don't believe I don't believe you. you don't believe him, Alicia. Really? Uh, all your stuff gets stolen right before the date, and then you still got on a date? <laughs> I do have money. Matter of fact, I'm going to have some really soon, as soon as my mom dies. What? 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 Oh. what did you say, Michael? I said I'm going to have a lot more money as soon as my mom dies. I mean, You're going to have money when your mom dies? What are you talking about? <laughs> Is she sick? I mean, no, she's, she's fine. She's, she's really fine. What? And, you know, eventually I'm going to have money. She collects antiques. What is wrong with you? What What? is, exactly, Alicia, what is wrong with you, Michael? Your financial status is dependent on whether your mom lives or dies? Oh, my God. I mean, there's no weather to it. I mean, he's eventually going to die. We're all going to (laughs) die. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I'm just saying when she dies, I'm going to inherit, you know, her antiques, and I'm just going to sell them off. Wow. (laughs) You've got some serious issues. I mean, I'm not saying I want her to die. God forbid she dies anytime soon. I'm just saying eventually she's going to die and I'll have money. (laughs) Eventually, I'm going to come up on some antiques, Alicia, and then you can have some of that antique mommy death money. Oh, my God. So (laughs) gross, dude. And, Michael, you are broke. That's what broke people say. Your mom's money is not your money. I mean, not yet, but in 20 years, I'm going to be rich. And you're going to sit there regretting that you didn't give me a second chance. (laughs) Yeah, Alicia, you hear that? You're going to regret it. So would you like to go out with Michael again for a second date? We will pay for it. Absolutely not. We will pay for it. (laughs) We'll pay for it for now until he gets that antique cash. That antique money. Yeah. (laughs) God. No, I'll pass. I'm good. Are you sure? You could be the queen of Michael's antique kingdom. (laughs) No, thank you. I think someone else could be. That lucky woman. Not you know what? I. Alicia, I gotta applaud your ability to read red flags. I didn't see him coming. You did. What are you talking about, red flag? My stuff was stolen. <laughs> Look, Michael, I know you're having a rough time, and like I, I feel for you, and I'm not having a rough time. I'm just having a bad week. But life is about to get really good really soon. Really soon? I thought you said... Yeah. yeah. What do you mean, really soon? <laughs> I, I just mean that... You know, further down the line, my mom's going to pass away. And... Uh-huh. Hey, well, but you said really soon. Like, are, you're not planning anything, are you? It sounded ominous. No, no. Man, I, I love my mom, but I know she's not going to live forever. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, Someone call his mother yeah. right now. We're going to send the welfare check out on your mom. And you guys, thank you very much for your time. Broken Jubal in the morning. Text in at 78592 says, save that second date update. You might need it in court. Mm -hmm. (laughs) If you missed it, Michael wanted to call Alicia. They went out and he said that his credit card and everything got stolen. So he got his credit card turned down. He had a gift card at the place that they went to and that wasn't enough. And then his Uber didn't work to get her an Uber home because it was associated with the card that was stolen. We got her on the phone and she thought that, of course, he's broke and she didn't want to go out with him. 
But then he said that he's not broke because his mom's going to pass away one day. And mm-hmm. when she does, oh. he gets her antiques. So he's got a lot of antiques waiting for him in his future. It's That's not even terrible. like he's got like a trust fund. Yeah. He's no. got an- like he's got antiques. He doesn't even know how much they're worth. And <laughs> my guess is probably not much if it's according to him. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't sound like he was just like, you know, one day I'm going to have these antiques. It was like, yes. trust me, my mom's going to pass away very soon. Yeah. So weird. Man. Is she sick? <laughs> no. Oh, but, you well, know, then no that is forever. frightening. Yeah. <laughs> but somebody could slip and fall down the stairs one day. I'm just saying it could happen. <laughs> Remember, they decided not to go out again, by the way. Remember, Good. if you want to do a second date update, all you have to do is email the show, and we will call the person who didn't call you back. Ruben 92.5. Ruben.